Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how to add custom images to a Code Assist project. So this is probably one of the, the things if you're creating a visualization or a user interface with Code Assist, one of the best ways to make it look really good is to add your own custom images. And this is pretty easy with, with Code Assist and you can extend the, the user interface by adding your own images. And actually you can end up modifying a lot of the Code Assist provided widgets with your own images. So for instance, this gauge widget, you can use your own gauge image instead of what they have. So we'll, we'll look at that in a separate video, but in this video, we'll just talk about what are the base elements you need to start adding your own images, either as an image or a background. So we're going to start with our, our training project one that we've worked on in Codesys from the start of these videos. If you really, you should, have created a visualization already and you know we have a can bus and some other items but the only thing that you'll really need for this video is you'll have have to have created a visualization and if you don't know how to do that or haven't done that you can go check out the videos where we originally create these these visualizations so if you have that all we're going to do is in our trading video, we're going to right click application and again, say add object, which we've done many times. And we're going to look for this image pool object and add that. And we can, it, it asks you the object name. We can just keep it as image pool. Okay. So now that we've added our image pool, we're going to come up here and double click on it. And here we'll see the ID, file name, image, and link type. So here's where we want to add images. So just as a note, if we, we created a couple screens in previous, previous videos, so we'll come to screen three, which is currently only has this rectangle on it. And we're going to add an image object. So that's in basic and a drag in an image object. So you'll see it does bring up some options for us. We have, you know, the uh, codices base images and the visualization styles. We have some symbols and things like that, that we can add in that are just provided by codices. So that's pretty useful. And we also have this image pool. Now, I, I think if you don't have the image pool in, let me just test this out. I don't know that it would come up. Let's I'm going to re add that that way. It... Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't come up. So in this case, you only can choose from the images that are provided by Codesys. So of course, we want to add our own custom image. And that's why we're adding this image pool. So we're going to come back in and I'm going to come back in at least and re add the image pool. And in this image pool, when you double click it, you have an ID, a file name and an image. So we're going to click on file name here and you'll see this dot, dot, dot comes up and we're going to click on that and it says select image. So here is where you have some options as well. So it asks you for the image file and it gives you some options. So remember the link, remember the link and embed into project or embed into project. So as this project is being deployed onto a display from your main computer, you likely want to embed it into the project. If you are linking to an image, you just have to keep in mind that your link has to be the same on this computer as it is on the display because it's going to remember the link and look for the image at that link address. So when you put the program or this Codesys application onto the display, 
and it tries to load the image, it's going to say, okay, my image is in uh, my home folder. And if the path to that image isn't the same on this computer as on your display, it's not going to be able to find the image itself. So the easiest solution to this is just embedding it into the project. And, you know, I mean, it's the negative, I guess, to embedding it is if your images are, are very large, your project can really grow in size. And sometimes then it'll take a little longer to open. So, you know, you, you should be managing your image size also for just rendering on the display in general. You know, you shouldn't have images that are like 10 megabytes unless they absolutely need to be. Um, just something to keep in mind. So... Okay, so I'm going to click that dot, 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 and we are going to come to, I'm just going to look at where I could potentially have some images here. Okay, so yeah, I, I have a couple in here. I'm going to add just these two. So um, I used control to select two at once, and you can see it adds in and grabs the ID. I'll just call this gauge. That's fine. I'll keep the file name. And there we go. So we have two images added in now. We could, you know, add as many more as we'd like, but I'll just work off these two. So coming back to screen three, if I now add an image object, it will pop up and we see image pool again. But now we see I have two images to select from. So if I select this, I can, you know, grab it, scale it. Um, but that's pretty much the image that I imported. And yeah, in this way we can also, so we have those images available in our project. Now we can, you know, for instance, that's one way to we have an image that we just added from our toolbox, but you can also, for instance, if you wanted a background, there's a use image option. So we can select this image as our entire background if we wanted to. So in that case, I believe you'll, you'll notice here it's the original size of the image that was downloaded. So when you use this image in the toolbox you can scale it to be whatever size you want but if you set it as your background it has to be essentially the correct resolution for the background so we have seen these screens are currently set to properties there we go uh 1024 by 768 so if we made our image that resolution to take up the entire screen, then it would look normal. It's just this is was not designed as a background image. But alternately, if you wanted to stretch it, you know, you can just add your image as a image widget in your project and then scale it how you want. Okay, so that's the the basis of using your own images and also adding an image through the and adding an image as a widget in your application or user interface if you know from that i mean we have your basic you know for instance i can add a label here and i can bring for instance, this image, order it and bring it to the front. Uh, I believe actually the, or send it to the back if I wanted to. Um, now the label is out in front. So we have your normal ways to manipulate the ordering of objects on a screen. And we have our images and that's pretty much what we wanted to accomplish in this video. So in the next videos, we'll be looking at adding different widgets from the toolbox here, specifically looking at a few of them. There's obviously a lot of widgets, 
but a lot of the widgets you can also add custom images and essentially trade what code assist gives you for one of your own images so i wanted to talk about how to add your own images first before we got there okay so i hope this was useful uh tune in for other videos thanks